Both success in life and in training and in business begins with self-respect and the feeling of self-worth, self-value. And these feelings began with delivering upon the promise or that free. And upon the promise, I mean first the promise to ourselves and obviously later to other people. So I came to the, my first half marathon in the Dead Sea injured. I had better plans, but my Achilles tendon decided the other way. So instead of running, I watch people run. And I felt miserable, like on verge of tears and hated myself. And I tried everything, the warm up, the some stretching, even maybe running 5K, but running. But again, my Achilles tendon had other plans. So I just stood there and waited for my wife to finish her 10K. And I took my time, I re-signed for the following year with my physiotherapy and eventually came and what you see in the video, I've ran it and I've ran it great, in great shape, like I uh, used to run. Um, and these things build up, these pieces of, right, I want to do this, um, build up to that inner feeling of, okay, I deserve this. And this, quote unquote, may be whatever. The money, the income, the partner, the job, the car, the country, if you're thinking of changing your residency, whatever. It starts with these things that, all right, I deliver upon my promise. Okay, I had a hurdle, I dealt with it, and I didn't say like, eh, all right, like, you know, I'll run some other time. I could have run. I took it to the extreme of not even opening the shirt I received in, my, in the first half marathon where I came injured. said it will lay on a shelf and it will wait for me um, until I'm going to pay my date, my, my debt. Sorry. So this is what happened. I did it with the initial shirt while the other one was in my bed. Another thing, I, in 2017, I believe, 1817, I begin my preparation for one hour long cycle for the marathon. And life happened, things went sideways, and I ended up injured because I tried to ride multiple horses with one ass and tried to prepare simultaneously for the classic 10 minute long cycle event with 24s, with double 24s, and doing this extensive one hour work with 16s, which are at least theoretically sounds reasonable and doable. Like, yeah, you're lifting 24 for 10, and then you can lift 16 for longer. However, as my favorite quote by Yogi Berra, in theory, there is no difference between theory and practice. In practice, there is. So in practice, I just had my forearm beat up. I don't know what have happened there. It just went numb. Something in the nervous system and I couldn't lift. Now I'm aiming to pay the debt. And it took me almost six years to wait to fully recover, to go through some personal changes and my inner cycles, yet I never abandoned it. And I said, I'm going to do it just because I said that I am going to do it and I had it planned, so I'm going to do it regardless. Because these things, Sam, is a little as a little stone in your like the grain of sand in your sock while you're running that turns your foot into a bloody goo and you can no longer walk not to say run these grains of sands that are stuck in your soul of things that you said you'll do but you never did 
they eventually make you bleed from an inside and you know like water slowly carves through the stone these little deaths carving through your inner feeling of self-worth and self-value and eventually you made up may end up thinking about yourself like a lying worthless piece of shit that anyway never did anything that he or she like uh, told himself he will then why bother anyway so this is one of the fundamental things I coach uh, my students to do in life like there are some things that you cannot do uh, already like the, the, the time have passed which is fine we accept it and we must find enough strength to forgive ourselves and to let go but other things you either do not promise but if you said you will you do as simple as so go check your inventory and if there are unpaying debt in your closet open your schedule just plan them regardless how much it takes and slowly pay one by one and i promise you with every paid debt you'll feel better and better